Swallowing pills. It's a seemingly simple act like brushing your teeth or tying your shoes, something most of us do without a second thought. But for many older adults, it can be a daily battle, a source of frustration, anxiety, and even fear. Difficulty swallowing pills or pill dysphagia is more common than you might think, and it can significantly affect a person's health and well being. In one study, about a third of healthy individuals were found to have pill dysphagia. Even I have a couple of friends who have trouble. This is a very common issue, and the rate doubles with patients with dysphagia. This means that most of our patients with dysphagia may have difficulty swallowing pills. One of the worst parts of this dilemma is that many doctors are completely unaware that their patients are undergoing this struggle as it isn't often talked about. As SLPs, we have a unique opportunity to step in and be the heroes of this often overlooked struggle. The caped crusaders of capsules, if you will. Hi, I'm Teresa Richard. I've been a medical speech pathologist since 2008. I'm a board certified specialist in swallowing and swallowing disorders, and I'm the founder and CEO of the MedSLP Collective and MedSLP Education. Author of the best-selling book, So You're Having Trouble Swallowing, and host of the Swallow Your Pride podcast, which has over 5 million downloads. Welcome, I am so glad you are here. The Unspoken Struggle. Imagine a symphony orchestra. Each instrument plays its part, creating a harmonious blend of sounds. But what if the violins suddenly go out of tune or the trumpets refuse to blow? The entire performance is thrown off balance. Similarly, the act of swallowing involves a complex interplay of muscles, nerves, and coordination. As we age, these intricate mechanisms can falter and struggle, like an orchestra failing to keep the rhythm and sending everyone out of their seats for the exit. But as SLPs, we can be the conductors of this aging orchestra, fine-tuning the swallowing mechanisms and restoring harmony to the performance. There are a few reasons dysphagia becomes more likely as we age. For example, older individuals may suffer from decreased saliva production, reduced muscle strength, decreased cricopharyngeal segment opening, and decreased esophageal peristalsis. Decreased saliva production can turn pills into tiny tumbleweeds, bouncing around a dry mouth like a desert landscape. Reduced muscle strength, decreased cricopharyngeal segment opening, and poor esophageal peristalsis can make it feel like trying to push a boulder uphill or a square into a round peg, the pill stubbornly refusing to budge. These difficulties can lead to anxiety, medication non-adherence, and even health complications. I had a patient who was an 82-year-old retired school teacher who once commanded a classroom with a voice as clear as a bell, now finds herself whispering apologies at her dinner parties. She's mortified by her struggles with pill swallowing, often with coughing, globus, or feeling like the pill is getting stuck and all of the associated discomforts as she tries to take her medication discreetly. She feels like a child again, her confidence eroded by this seemingly simple task. It's come to the point that she is skipping medication at certain times of the day and even steering clear of larger pills entirely, even though they are essential for her health. She hasn't told her family and hasn't even told her doctor. She feels embarrassed and ashamed. But don't worry, her story doesn't end there. Keep listening. Crushing pills, a recipe for disaster. Many times our first reaction to pill dysphagia is to crush the competition, demolish the thing, pulverize the pill until it's no longer recognizable. And why not? If a whole pill is the problem, breaking it up into a thousand pieces seems like it's an obvious solution, right? But this is short-sighted. This is because crushing a pill can actually change the way it breaks down in the body. Think about it this way. Think of a delicate souffle. Its airy texture achieved through a precise combination of ingredients and baking techniques. Now imagine taking that souffle and flattening it with a rolling pin. The result? A dense, unappetizing mess. Similarly, crushing certain medications can disrupt their carefully designed structure and alter their intended effects. As SLPs, we can be the chefs of the solution to pill dysphagia, ensuring that each opportunity to take medications is prepared and served in a way that maximizes its effectiveness and minimizes any potential discomfort and harm. Crushing certain medications can be like throwing a wrench into a well-oiled machine. It can alter their release time, turning a controlled release into a sudden burst, potentially leading to reduced effectiveness or worst case scenario, resulting in an overdose. It can also irritate the delicate lining of the throat and esophagus, which may be more susceptible to damage in older individuals. Releasing the medication too early in the throat is like rubbing sandpaper against a delicate silk scarf. Ouch. 
Our patient at one point decided she needed to crush her meds without seeking medical guidance first. She routinely crushed her pills and mixed them with her morning coffee. This solution worked like magic, at first that is. Soon she began experiencing persistent discomfort, seemingly due to an irritation of her pharyngeal and esophageal mucosa. She felt like she couldn't win, no matter what she did. Want to become a pill-swallowing superhero for your patients? Don't miss out on future videos where we'll delve deeper into the world of dysphagia and explore more strategies for conquering swallowing challenges. Hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Have you encountered any particularly tricky pill swallowing scenarios with your patients? Or maybe you have a favorite technique that works wonders? Share your experiences and tips in the comments below. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for a special surprise, a free resource that will help you navigate this complex topic further. SLPs, the pill swallowing Sherpas. Imagine climbing Mount Everest, the highest peak in the world. It's a daunting task requiring skill, experience, and the right equipment. A Sherpa, an experienced mountain guide, can make all the difference, providing guidance, support, and encouragement along the way. Similarly, navigating the challenges of pill swallowing can feel like an uphill battle for many older adults. As SLPs, we can be their Sherpas, guiding them through the obstacles and helping them reach the summit of safe and effective pill swallowing. Now bear with me as I take you deeper into the mountain of this climbing analogy. We understand the factors that affect pill dysphagia like a seasoned mountaineer knows the terrain. We assess a patient's oral motor skills, swallowing functioning, and cognitive abilities, making sure they have the physical ability and gear needed to climb the mountain. We can also identify any underlying issues that may be contributing to their difficulties, like a Sherpa anticipates potential hazards on the mountain. Here are some of the tools in our SLP pill swallowing toolkit that can be used after testing with an instrumental swallowing evaluation. Optimal posture. Sitting upright improves the flow of the pill, like finding the right path on a mountain trail. The power of liquid. Taking pills with plenty of water helps them go down smoothly, like a steady stream guiding the way. Swallowing techniques. Simple techniques like a chin tuck can make a big difference in improving bolus propulsion and airway protection during the swallow for patients with dysphagia, like using a walking stick for extra support. Helpful products. Pill swallowing gels and lubricants can ease the process for some patients, like a smooth rope helping a climber ascend a steep, jagged cliff. Our patient finally summoned the courage to tell her trusted physician about her pill dysphagia. Her doctor promptly referred to her to an SLP who taught her new techniques to safely and effectively take her pills without needing to crush them. After going for an instrumental swallowing evaluation, she discovered the power of optimal posture, the importance of taking pills with plenty of water, and the effectiveness of using a chin tuck in her case. With renewed confidence and a sense of control, she was able to reclaim her independence and return to her old, confident self. By utilizing these strategies when indicated and working closely with patients, SLPs can empower older adults to take their medication safely and competently. It's always important to consult with your pharmacists and physicians to explore alternative medication forms or delivery methods to ensure they are appropriate for your patient, conducive with the specific medications they are taking and are in line with the patient's plan of care. Our role in pill swallowing management is crucial for improving medication adherence, enhancing patient safety, and ultimately improving quality of life for our aging population. Free resources are waiting for you at medslpcollective.com. Download your free guide on considerations when recommending crushed medications and go on to discover a treasure trove of resources designed to empower you in your dysphagia practice. Join our thriving SLP community for support, mentorship, and a chance to connect with fellow adventurers on the quest for better patient care. Don't miss out. The link is in the description below.